Hi, welcome to the 6502 Show. Today, we're going to take a look at an extremely popular role-playing game that today is all but forgotten. This is the valley, a vanished world from a forgotten time. No, not that valley, the BBC documentary show. This, the valley. This is for the Commodore Pet. It's an RPG that was written in 1982. The British computer magazine Computing Today had been around since 1979, originally a supplement to Electronics Today International. It morphed into its own thing and proved quite popular being published into the mid-80s. The issue in question for us, though, is the April 1982 edition of Computing Today, where the uh, editors ask us, are you feeling adventurous? Well, yes we are. And inside, they presented an entire role-playing game, The Valley. It's quite the programming feat. It's quite large, and they advise you right off the bat, do this in sessions, do this in pieces. And the way they present the program, printed up in the magazine, is in modules. And these modules each contain a specific task, like this is the spell module, this is the combat module, this is the movement module. And it is explained line by line, concept by concept, as it states right up top, this is a system that can be used to learn programming. You get a great game, but you also get knowledge, and that is the key. Well, at the very outset, they don't start with the program. They start with the backstory. And this is something else. Two and a half pages of interesting prose, shall we say. Let me read you a little bit of the story. At the mention of the legendary helm, the six figures moved closer around the wizard's desk. I can help whoever decides to go, continued Alarion, but I can help only one of you at a time. I can create a path of safety between this castle and the castle Zeron, both of which will prove safe havens during your quest. I can also make the buildings visible to you, although this means you will be seen and thus attacked by the inhuman creatures loyal to Vonum. You will need great experience to find the helm of Ivana, such as Ivana's curse on her people. They spurned her when she needed their help to defeat Valnum. Princess Ivana hid the means to conquer any threat to the kingdom, so that only the bravest Tybolian could ever find it. To gain this experience, you would be wise to first search out my amulet in one of the temples of Inagioth, and, once found, journey to the Black Tower of Zason where you will find the six stones that fit the amulet. However, care must be taken to find the stones in the correct order. If you don't, you will find they do not fit and will be useless to you. Well, th that was two paragraphs. You can see what this is about. However, there are clues in the story that will help you solve the adventure. The program proved quite popular, and very soon... Readers were sending in suggestions and variations and translations. Uh, one of the most popular was the translation to TRS-80, Level 1 Basic. There were ZX Spectrum variations and translations for various computers. Readers invented new spells, they came up with new weapons, they placed treasure around, and they fiddled with the gameplay to either improve the program, suit themselves, or both. And this went on for several years after publication, all through the mid-80s. Kids would take the code to school or go over to someone's house in the afternoon and, you know, mess with it. And they had a great time, obviously. And I'll bet you more than one career in computing was launched with this game. Well, there's the background of the Valley. And sadly, there are only about six or seven playthroughs on YouTube that you can go and watch. And Really, that's all they are. They're just 
snippets of gameplay with a few exceptions, but there's no commentary or anything, and that was the reason I wanted to make this video today. So let's go take a look at the Valley, played on a pet, 4032, using the Vice emulator. All right, here we have a splash screen that I whipped up to honor the authors and the magazine. Let's press a key and get started. We do not want to load a character from tape. Character's name, how about Goofius? Choose carefully. It will be, uh, I think Goofius sounds like a real thinker. And the valley is now drawn for us in glorious green glowing goo. I'm going to use the number pad to move around. As long as I stay in the path, nothing really bad's going to happen to me. As was promised in the Arctical. So just kind of bopping around here and uh, let's uh, it's all very safe. But what if I enter this uh, area down here? Looks like a swampy bit with a lake and some type of keep in the middle of it there on a hill. So now we're basically in a mini game. And we can move around here. And I can search on. Uh oh, an evil orc. A creature attacks. He hesitates. He's unsure. I will strike quickly and hit for his head, but I missed. And I will next time hit the L button for um, his legs. I did two damage there. Striked my sword arm. Saved by the armor. Strike quickly. Oh, I missed him. Tried for a body blow that time. Well, we're going to take a whack at his head. I missed him again. A lot of the valley is... Combat. I would say, oh, 70% of it's combat. And then uh, a hit to his head and we're done. Unfortunately, it's a lot of combat. Um, I think it can be adapted and made better with um, some tweaks and tinkering around with the program. Again, it's entirely in basic, so it's easy enough to do. All right, well, we'll leave that swamp, even though there was a keep in there that I'm sure there's some magic item or bit of treasure or an amulet piece that we need, but that's uh, all well and good. You can go and see complete playthroughs done on a VIC-20. You get over a half an hour of gameplay. And here's the link to that. It is absolutely fantastic. Goes all the way through 35 minutes of the valley on a VIC-20. There are also other playthroughs, such as for the Commodore 64. This is a Norwegian version. And uh, also the ZX Spectrum. There was a version for that as well. Files for the PET version are available on my website. There's a link in the description below. And it's got the program for Microsoft Basic and lots of documentation. So you'll have the source code. You'll be able to modify it just like they did back in the early 80s. I want to thank you so much for watching the 6502 show. I hope you had a good time. If you did, please like and subscribe. And it is a pleasure to bring these to you. So until we see each other again, take care.